Today I'd like to talk about this uh, mouse, vertical mouse that I got. Uh, I paid twenty six dollars for it. Uh, I got a good deal, I think. Um, it is. It was listed as Z L O T on Amazon, but on the box it actually is spelled out Zelotes, uh, Z E L O T E S. Um, it is again. It's a. It's the C eighteen uh, vertical wired game mouse. Um, I didn't care about the the LEDs on it. That's not why I got it. First of all, I got it because I wanted to reduce the problems of the traditional mouse forcing the hand to be in an unnatural position like this when it's more much more natural for your hand to be like this vertical uh, because then the mus the two bones here, the radius and the ulna, um, are not crossed over. When you do it like that, you're causing them to cross over each um, one crosses over the other one. Uh, but when you're, you have your hand like this, they're parallel to each other. Um, the problem is, is that when it's not parallel, it can cause, um, for some people, it can cause problems uh, like related to carpal tunnel syndrome and stuff. I sometimes have problems uh, with with my arm, with my uh, wrist being um, well, being in pain. Uh, it gets very tense in in here. And uh, between using the keyboard and, and using the, um, the mouse or trackball, I found that it was a problem. Um, so when my uh, mouse died and I, uh, uh, my, my trackball was broken, uh, I ended up using a, um, a cordless mouse and I got tired of replacing the batteries. Um, and so I, I picked up this thing. I could have picked up a rechargeable uh, one, but I felt like, eh, then I've got to worry about recharging, I've got to worry about eventually replacing the rechargeable battery if it's even <laughs> designed to be opened and have it replaced. Um, and so I opted for the wired one. It's a little bit less convenient, but I have extra USB slots in the back of my keyboard, so not a big deal. Anyways, this is the box that came in, nice and compact. Um, I would have, I would not have cared so much if it had been um, in plastic, you know, wrapped up very carefully so that it couldn't be damaged and shipped in a bag without a box, you know, less, less waste. I'm going to recycle this box, um, but it, there would have been less waste overall. Um, so this actually has, if you look here, you can see uh, that it. It has got um, a roller here for um, scrolling, the scroll wheel. And according to the documentation, which comes in several different languages, uh, it says that this has a life of 1.2 million rotations, which is, I guess that's good, right? It's also a depressible uh, scroll wheel, so that acts as a third uh, button for you along with the left and right mouse buttons. And then you have the DPI uh, button right here. So you can, and if, I'm gonna turn it around so you can see what happens. When I push the button, it shows what level of DPI setting you've got it on. So when you have it on this one, it's the lowest setting, uh, which is, um, uh, hold on a second, uh, I didn't memorize the DPI settings, but, uh, the lowest setting is 1500 DPI, and then the next setting is 2500, then 4000, 7000, and finally 10,000 DPI. Now, I personally don't have any need for probably even. Well, I, I don't have a need for uh, the higher settings of 7,000 and 10,000. I think that this, this would be appropriate for somebody who's doing graphic design, engineering, um, architecture, that kind of thing. But um, for me, it's, it, I don't feel that it's necessary. I do do some gaming. Um, I don't do a lot of gaming. 
I would wear. I I don't like the placement of the D, DPI switch or button, I should say. Um, and oh, by the way, um, the buttons on this mouse are rated at ten thousand clicks. Or sorry, ten million clicks. I would prefer that the DPI button would be in somewhere somewhere that's out of the way, so I don't accidentally click it, which I've already done. Um, also. It has a forward and backward button over here to help you move uh, through your browser or even sometimes it can be used in certain games. Um, and then you've got what they call a rocker. I call it a mini joystick. You can call it what you like. I got this mouse specifically because it had a rocker. Sadly, this is a fairly useless rocker because it's the same as pressing WASD and spacebar because you can push down uh, for space bar. So, you know, basically it's a jump button. And WSD, there is no, um, when you rock it, it only pushes one button. It does not have the ability to simultaneously push both bu two buttons on, you know, if, it, if you go up to the end uh, corner instead of going, you know, according to the, the cardinal directions. So if I go like this, you know, we get W. And, and so on and so forth. But if I go like this, uh, I don't get W and S. It only does one. And that, for me, makes it useless for gaming. Um, so I don't even bother using it. I also find it awkward to use. Um, and maybe it just takes some practice. But for me, I found the use of the rocker uh, for moving, moving around and jumping all in one, I found to be awkward. So I quickly stopped using it. Now you notice there is this LED thing running around here. Um, I set it that way because it's, it's got the lowest uh, electrical usage. I could have turned it off. I probably will end up turning it off. But I wanted you to be able to see it. Um, so yeah, so we've got the, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then the 5 buttons here. So that's 11 buttons. Um, and it is an optical mouse. Now, if you notice here on the bottom, it has these three pads that help it to uh, glide smoothly on your desk. You don't want to use a mouse pad with this. I, I tried using my rubber mouse pad with it, um, and uh, it did not glide. It got kind of stuck. I had to work a lot harder to move it around, so I now just use it on the bare surface of my desk. Um, these I had to add on. They were on a separate piece of plastic, and I pulled them off and just add them on. And um, let's see, what else? Um, I guess that's pretty much it. It took me about a minute to adapt to having my hand like this instead of like that, and then I was fine. Uh, it's it's very easy to adapt to because basically it's it's the same basic concept as a, a regular mouse um, turned on its side. And there are many other brands that produce vertical mouses. Um, so you don't even have to get a Zillotus. But I wanted to give a review of this one since I paid $26 for it. And I thought maybe it would be useful for other people. All right. So there's that. And the, the last thing is, is that, and I, didn't, I was surprised, but you get software, uh, which allows you to have some control over some of the functionality of the vertical mouse, the C18. So what I wanted to do then is I wanted to show you that, oh boy, better change the DPI. There we go. I wanted to show you that the software. Now, I don't have any way to make it full screen, um, but if you look here, you can see the brand name. It looks very snazzy. Um, you've got, uh, Categories for button, for performance, for lighting, for armory. Honestly, this does not explain what the armory is. I haven't got any freaking clue what what the armory is for. Uh, it just looks like this. I'll, I'll open it up. It's just like this. And you can create, you can delete, you can import, you can export. Um, but it doesn't tell you what it is or where to get things from or anything like that. So to me, it's... Very confusing. Um, so let's go back to the button, though. So you can assign for each of the 11 buttons what you want it to be able to do. Now, maybe what I'll end up doing with the rocker 
is I'll use it for browsing. Um, so I'll assign it because I can't use it as a, as a gaming joystick. <clears throat> and you can set up two different profiles. So you can have a profile for browsing and a profile for gaming if you wanted to do that. I don't think I'll ever do it. Um, and there's this thing here, correlation program. It's not mentioned in the 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 documentation here either. I don't. I didn't bother to look and see if there's documentation on the disk. I'll have to check for that. But I don't understand what correlation program means. It's obviously been translated from a different language. Restore the default is very clear. Application. When I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, so that's for some software. But no, actually means apply. They just didn't use the right word because. They translated it incorrectly. Um, so that's the apply button. So when you want to make changes, that's what you do. So you change whatever you want. You can assign all kinds of things. You can assign macros. You can do multimedia, profile, DPI switch, office functions, like copy, cut, paste, and so on. Windows functions. You can do click, menu, and so on, and so on, and so on. There's a lot of stuff that you can assign to it. And then for these over here, same thing. Okay? So it's all basically the same thing. You can do any of the options that are available. I don't know how you would... Wait a second, let me look here. I don't want to make myself look like a liar. I guess you can use a sign a shortcut to assign specific letters of the alphabet or numbers or whatever. Uh, so, you know, maybe you could, if you're playing a game, you don't want to use the, the rocker for the game uh, for movement, you could use it for selecting different weapons. You know, like one is up and two is left and three is right and four is down and five is, is push the button so that you can easily uh, change weapons without having to find them the uh, keys on your keyboard okay so that is the button page um, and this stuff down here shows up on every single page uh, so then there's the performance page so you can set your DPI your default DPI sensitivity uh, to one of the five settings that I mentioned before, 1,500 to 10,000 DPI. You can also do excel, adjust the acceleration of your pointer, and you can also set the data update rate from 125 hertz all the way up to 1,000 hertz. I haven't messed with that because I don't really know anything about what would be the optimal hertz. I just left it at the default. And then you have lighting. Now, for lighting, if you use these things up here, you're going to you 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 want to set it to standard, and then you can set. I think this is the light intensity. So let's just give it a shot here. If you can focus on the the mouse there, I'm going to apply, and there you go. We can see that it's a red. Now let's see if I if I change it from low to high if that will alter the intensity of the light. Yes, so low to high is how bright the lighting is. Neon, here's the neon. So it cycles through each of the colors one by one. So really it's not neon, it's cycle, or color cycle. And flowing, Looks like the one I, I had to set on when you when we started the video. Cycle breathing is a combination. I mean, I, I, it's really almost the same as as neon. I, I'm not really sure what the difference is there. And then wave is the de, is the default that it came with. It's kind of an attractive look. If you know if that's what you're into, um, I'm gonna go ahead now and turn it off because I see no purpose. I mean, it's nice if you're all your lights are off and you can't see. Like down here, I can't really see it even with the light coming off the screen. Um, so it's it, it's kind of nice to have the wave go or the flowing one going. So I I think maybe what I'll do is just kind of keep it on low let it light it up like that and uh, then it'll just help me to find it when it's too dark to see where it is easily but otherwise you know that's 
it's it's nice to have these functions. Um, I don't care again about the LEDs, but I know some people are really into that kind of visual effect stuff. They think it's cool or whatever. And hey, that's if that's your if that's what you're interested in. Yeah, okay, uh, fine for you. Um, so, anyways, as far as usage, so far so good. Other than the rocker, uh, I've been quite happy with it. <coughs> I haven't uh, been using it for very long. I think I just got it like two days ago or, or something like that. So it's it, I'm still not able to comment on whether or not it's going to have any impact on my wrist. Um, I did go to a store and talk to a, an associate in the store. And he said he when he used a vertical mouse, he noticed an improvement in his wrist. Um, oh, well, oh, one thing that um, I wish I could have done is to purchase a mouse that has a, a detachable base around here, a kind of a, a rest for this part of the hand, because my hand is always dragging along the ba uh, the uh, desk, um, and it's a little bit uncomfortable sometimes. So I wish there would have been a base here that was kind of soft to catch the 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 bone here, so it wouldn't feel uncomfortable. Um, that is one thing I don't particularly like about the vertical mouse. I mean, not this one is in general, but in general, if a vertical mouse doesn't have a base here that's soft um, to to protect the bones there, um, it does feel kind of uncomfortable. Now, it it does fairly well fit the size of my hand. I wish it was just a little tiny bit larger so that my skin isn't dragging on the surface of my desk. Um, so I would I. I would definitely suggest to you that if you're going to get a, uh, a mouse, be it a regular mouse or a vertical mouse, trackball is not so important because you're not moving a trackball around, you're moving the ball. But um, if you're going to get a mouse or a vertical mouse, check the size and try to determine what the optimal size would be for your hand. And I know there are a couple, at least a couple of brands out there that offer you the option to change the size of the mouse by adding clip, you know, like clicking into place additional pieces that expand the size of the mouse. Uh, can't really think of the brand off the top of my head, but I did see one that had that. Um, so that is an option, but otherwise, take care to try to choose a larger mouse. Now I thought this one was gonna be large enough uh, because it said it was for large hands. I guess my hand is just a little bit too large. Um, so in the future, I'm gonna have to pay more attention to that. But so far, I'm happy with it, um, and I hope that down the road I'm not going to be making another review saying, gosh, it died after five weeks or something like that. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and make the world a better place. Bye.